Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm going to do a quick set of testing, unboxing and just show you a new little accessory from the same company that I already re reviewed uh, two of their products from Digi Digital Photo. Um, they sent me, uh, the first one I test out the product is like a little handle support that you put for gimbals for Crane 2, DJI Ronin S and also it actually works on the Mozart 2. I loved it and uh, I've been, been using it ever since. Uh, now I got uh, another little accessory from them, which is, uh, I guess it's called the Terminator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Terminator, uh, is going to get you. Basically it's very similar to that other accessory that I got for the gimbal. Uh, as in it, again, it attaches to these gimbals here on the top. It gives you a little accessory. So you have, you have this strap that you can put in there. So it takes basically the weight off your arms. Um, and you can carry the gimbal like that. Plus. And it also gives you this little thing, uh, which is sort of, I guess, like the, the Zion Crane Weebill, right? The, the, the gimbal yeah, that the, has like this extra handle. Yeah, the Crane 3. Yeah. And, uh, and that's basically what it is. Now, I got two of these. There's one for the DJI Ronin S, which you've been using it today. W what do you think about it? I like it. Yeah? Uh, now, it, it's, here's the thing, though. I, uh, in the picture, if you look at it, it's supposed to be mounted upside down, right? As in, it goes up. Yeah. But if when it goes up, like, you know, let's put it up here. I, I mean, I, I, that's the first thing I, th I thought is it's going to be getting in, in the way, right? Because you're holding it Yeah, I was it like touching my fingers were touching the motor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, you, you know, if you happen to balance it where you move the, this forward. Yes. Then it will be okay, right? Uh, I believe so. But for the camera, yeah. uh, the, the gravity. I have well, to for have it here. Yeah. yeah, so for this configuration, so it's something to consider because like again, if if you have to move this, you know, all the way back on the basically for, for the for the uh, the yaw axis, if you have to move this part all the way back, then yeah, it's, there's not enough clearance there and your fingers are going to be hitting it. But I think when when I, I know when I was using this today, I found it it worked perfectly well in this condition, right? Yes, like in I this love reverse it. it. I think this is a perfect condition. The only thing I would say the grip so I prefer putting my thumb here so it won't get slipped from my hand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, okay. if I'm holding it, there's a chance it might just slip out. Well, That's the, how I felt. yeah, and, and in a way, yeah, I would say too that it's it's nice to have this and it has quarter 20 and three eighths basically attachments here and actually comes with a lot of accessories. So it's kind of cool that it's like this, but I would suggest putting some kind of uh, like even this thing, which I know some people are laughing at my <laughs> pink tape, but this thing is really, this is basically non-slip tape, right? You put it and it really makes sure that your hand doesn't move. And I would say if you just put that or even like, you know, what you use for tennis rackets or, or you know, uh, basically just put this on there on, on this handle and then it'll be nice and yeah, exactly. grippy. But I mean, I was using it like this today and I'll tell you that I liked it because I would actually operate like this, one hand on the gimbal and the other one here on the back and it really just just let, lets you take the weight off and also if you need to go to low mode you can very quickly do it because you just go like this and you're holding it this way so i liked liked it on the on the dji run s now i have another one here for the crane too so i'll just quickly mount it under and we can see how it looks and this is basically what it comes with uh what about the other one that you got like what's what kind of accessories does it come with let's let's compare it I'll so, open this real quick. Yeah. So, so basically, it comes with this main accessory that goes around the gimbal. Which is already here. Yeah, and then you mount the the extra handle. Yeah, it comes with a extra handle. And so let's see. Allen key. So if you wanted to, you could, like if you, let's say, don't care about having that handle stick on, sticking out, whether it's up or down, uh, you could then uh, just literally, what do you call it? You, you could just detach it. And just use this as uh, you know to, to have the strap basically around you. Yeah. And and I think this for me the strap is the most handy because it's it's a lifesaver. A, yeah. It's a lifesaver. You can especially you can, if you're carrying the gimbal for like a long time and yeah. you want to give yourself a rest. Strap or if you're open. walking all gangster cool you know, like oh, this yeah, guy in, the, exactly. in slow motion, <laughs> take a look at that, guys. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, you know, not everybody can walk, you know, and make it look as cool as Katak, but 
Yeah, basically, what well, that's what this this thing is good for. I think is yeah. even if you don't want the extra handle, you can just simply walk around and like you know basically you can let the the the, the gimbal kind of dangle on your side because yeah. you it almost becomes like a bag because you have the little strap that you can attach to it. So here's the strap, yeah. and and I, what I like about this strap is that it's, it's the same as the other strap for the their other accessory is it's nicely here padded and has the non-slip kind of grip. On top, and you can and adjust like the, the length stretch. of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it feels sturdy. You know, the buckles here they, they rotate, so you never entangle the, the, the thing. The strap. Um, now, what other things that it comes with? Well, here it is. And yeah, I see you also have it. <laughs> yeah, two. Two of these, which these are really handy quarter twenty attachments on both sides. Uh, for attaching a monitor or any little accessory and I mean you can use it with other things But you can obviously use it with this because you like I said you have various attachment points So if you want to I mean I guess you could even put a monitor on there, right? Yeah, exactly if you wanted to have the monitor well, you can have up it there here. I would like to say with my Ronin S I have extra bracket here so I can literally put oh, it here that, yeah. and put a monitor and that, that would be cool Yeah, so it's kind of cool that this comes in together and these are good. They're actually very sturdy. Plus, another thing they give you is uh, a cold shoe mount. So, cold shoe mount, you know, again, you can attach it anywhere here to this handle. And I think they'll be good for... Uh, yeah, you can even attach it here to the end, I can see. So, you could attach it at the tip of the handle. And then you could use that to attach a microphone on there. Like a Rode video mic or something. It comes so. with the Allen key. Yeah, it comes with the Allen key with the thing. So, it's kind of nice that you, they give you everything. Yeah. So. Uh, Actually, these are three screws for the which goes mounts this with the this. Oh, to there. Okay. So yeah. Let me actually. Yeah, let me attach that. And once you do attach it, I mean, I guess you could detach it, but it's not something you're going to be doing on location because it's. You can see it takes a bit of here. Just it's a bit of hustle, right? Yes. I don't know how long it took it's for like you to attach the handle. Two, to two minutes. Yeah. So plus you have to have the Allen key with you. Yeah. So, okay, I have it done pretty much. So, as you can see, attaching the handle, I mean, it's not a, a hustle hustle, but it's not something that you want to be doing. Like, if, you know, like you kind of want to figure out, okay, am I going to use the handle today or not? Because you're not going to be like quickly taking it on and off the handle. Now, yeah. you can, I think, take this quickly, like put it on and off the gimbal. So, let's see how this will work. All right, so I attached it and yeah, it takes a little bit of time because uh, this screw here it doesn't like rotate freely all the way, so you kind of have to go like back and forth, back and forth. But uh, I don't know, one minute maybe to attach it. Uh, but yeah, it, so if you wanted to quickly take it off, I mean, again, just be ready that it's not like a quick release. You have to spend, you know, again, minute maybe for thirty seconds. I don't know. Uh, but once you have it on there, I mean, it's. You know, I like how this feels here. And here, you see, it depends again. This is on the crane too. There's plenty of clearance here. So you, whether you're doing the low mode like this, uh, you, you, can, you can get it clearly and you can operate. Now, if you move the, the gimbal back all the way, which is there, let's see. Yeah, so when you move it back all the way, it's still like, it goes close as you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it there on camera, but it goes close, maybe like a quarter of an inch, but it's still, yeah, it doesn't touch my hand, so it's okay. That's Whereas on the, on the Ronin S, if you really move the motor back, like, you know, and it's, this isn't even all the way back, right? No. Uh, it, it's already was too close. So if you move it completely back, then it would get in the way. But I, I, I think it works perfectly well the way it is like yeah. this, like having it like pointed it. down. Uh, because I, I'll, let me tell you, like when I was, you know, operating the gimbal today, I mean, yeah, I, I think in some cases I might even prefer to have it this way because operating like this might seem a little weird, but maybe it will work well. Now, when you drop it, you know, again, it doesn't matter whether the handle's like this or in the back. It just helps you get those kind of low angles. Uh, but, yeah, it feels sturdy on this one. Now, how does it feel in there? Because I know you were saying, yeah. It's, I think it's not locked properly. So it's not just tightened? So yeah, tighten it but it's pretty sturdy. Yeah. I like it. I mean, yeah, I used it today and it was good, but it, yeah. you're saying you, you felt a little bit of a, of a play there. Uh, cool accessory, like I said, you guys can attach the thing, the strap. And so if you like the previous one that I showed from Digital Photo, the little strap that takes the weight off of, you, of your hands, and I think this is like an improvement. I almost wish I got this right away so I could have just <laughs> showed you guys guys this because, yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's cool to have this where, again, you can rest it, right, put it over your head. Um, Gives you an extra handle here for operating the gimbal and all that stuff. So, yeah, 
pretty pretty cool little accessory i mean i have nothing really bad to say about it other than the fact that yeah the handle maybe is a little like slippery so i would maybe mm. put like a strip of tape here and there just so it gives you a yeah. bit of a kind of a grippy thing right but other, other than that it's thing and it's cool that they give you those extra you know attachment points so you can put again those little you know the little monitor mounts or the uh you know or the culture mount so cool little accessory and uh yeah if you guys are looking for something to so that's gonna help you get a better grip on your gimbal but also something where that you can operate for longer periods of time uh basically because uh, i think we all know that when you these gimbals <laughs> Get heavy. They're get, they get heavier they and get heavier. Heavy. <laughs> yeah, especially once you, I know you put like a follow focus on there and, and the monitor. monitor and everything. It, it, it adds up, the weight adds up. So that's when it's really, I think, a lot more convenient having this because, again, you you can switch your hands easily. Plus, if, when you're just walking around in between takes, you you let it rest on of the strap. So, yeah. call it an accessory. So, anyways, guys, check it out in the description below. I'm going to put the links to where you can get this, the, all the latest deals and prices. So uh, just yeah, check it out over there. And uh, if you guys like these kind of videos and you want more of this stuff, then make sure you uh, f go to my website, subscribe to my newsletter, you you'll be notified. And if you want to help out even more, then uh, join me on uh, Patreon. Anyways, that's it. Thank you, Anne, for coming out. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, no it's, problem. It's, it's, it's for me, it's like a dream coming true. <laughs> <laughs> Doing YouTube reviews is a dream coming true. Is that what no, you're saying? <laughs> sitting next to you. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I, I was like, man, those YouTube reviews. But yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, anyways, uh, I think call it accessory. I, I would recommend it to you. I would definitely recommend this, yeah, okay. especially for the low mode. I love this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And by the way, we're not getting paid to do this one, so don't worry about it. <laughs> not biased. And <laughs> like I said, I, we, I just got this in today. I just started, you know, put this on literally right now. And, and I was make sure to this. put some grip here. Otherwise. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I would say. Yeah. It's just not a grip. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>